Joe. How are we feeling, buddy? We're doing good. Not as good as you with that UConn win, but we're feeling good. I see everybody's moving today. I didn't get the message I was supposed to wear white, but that's okay. We'll keep it cooking. Well, neither did Doggy, but Doggy doesn't matter with Doggy because he wouldn't pay attention to the message anyway. I sure wouldn't. That's not what he would do. You see what I'm saying? That's not what he would do, but it, no. the standard. Joe, standard. Joe, big cleanup by me two years in a row. I just want yeah. you to know that. <laughs> yep. Very uh, easy, stakes. Molly. You see how it is. All right, uh, let's get into it. Okay, looking at the rest of the Masters field, what's your best bet? All right, oh. turn the music down. Uh, get off my lawn. It's going to be the old guy yelling from the clouds. I'm going to bet Tiger Woods to go ahead and miss the cut here. I know a what? lot of people aren't going to want to get behind that. Not about emotion. It's about money. That's what we talk about time and time again. This guy has played six times since 2022. Six times. Three withdrawals. One missed cut. The other two, he didn't finish in the top 40. It's a low ceiling. Low ceiling. Keep in mind, in 2020, they changed the cut rules here. Top 50 plus ties and anyone within 10 strokes of the lead. They got rid of that last part, so it's harder to make the cut. Last year, barely got by, barely. And keep in mind, thunderstorms in the forecast Thursday morning. Now, he tees off oh. after 1 o'clock, but if the, if the whole thing starts late and everyone gets pushed back, he might have to play a lot of golf on Friday. I don't know if that body holds up. I'm saying he misses the cut. That's it. I would, oh, you brought up. He brought up inclement weather. I got to go with Joe on this one. <laughs> I was going to go against you until you brought up inclement weather. We understand physically. Uh, to, to me, I was going to pick. I was going to say he'll make the cut. But when you bring up inclement weather and how he's going to have to play additional more, additionally more golf, I don't think his body could hold up. That's my issue with him. I don't think his body could hold up. That's a great job, Joe. You were superb at that. I happen to agree with you. I know weather would make me nervous. He might have to go out there and play 28 to 30 holes on right. Friday. Right. And that's asking too much. So I think Joe hit it right on the nuggin. And you hate to do it because right. everybody wants to see yes. Tiger that's play right. over the weekend. But I think golf? Joe's running the bus. Can you play golf? Yes, I do. Okay. Can, I said, can you Did play? you know that I'm going to the Masters on Friday? I did not know that. Really? Of course he is. Free? So fitting. Are you, are you treating yourself or are they sending you for work? Myself and my lovely wife. Wow, you're paying too. I am paying. Okay. That's the I only way that. you're getting in there is by bringing your lovely wife because they're not going to let you bring down the status <laughs> level of that place. Good point, Joe. All right, guys. Uh, looking at the rest of the Masters field, what's your best bet, Joe? Four-round matchup play. Who's ever's better between two golfers after four rounds? We're going to go John Rahm over Rory McIlroy. All right, John Rahm's minus 110. McIlroy is minus 115. They should flip that. They got the wrong guy favored. Rahm won it last year. He's lights out on this course. Top 10, five of the last six years. Rory's in his head every time he comes to the Masters. He's missed the cut two of the last three years. He's trying too hard to win the event. He's got to go zen. He's got to clear his mind that he can't do it. Even when he plays well, he starts slow and then he storms up late and then everyone says hey top five from from Rory he was there he was never there he just kind of closed late and made it look good so I'm taking Rom Rom over Rory in this one uh, very difficult to go back to back so I won't take Rom I'm going to take a run here Joe at Cameron Smith what's the odds for him he's doing the play well take a, he, I take a run out of He's coming on. He's coming on. I don't think he's in the top, you know, he's not in that top group. But if you want to take a shot there, that's a guy with a good price. That's what I'll take a okay. shot. Okay, uh, Joe, sorry, we're up against it today. I feel bad <laughs> rushing you. From the grass to the court, a huge showdown tonight on ESPN. The top two teams in the West face off. The T-Wolves and the Nuggets. What is the play in this one? I'm going to take Minnesota plus the points. It's as high as six at some shops. We have five and a half. Uh, there's no rest advantage here. Both teams played last night outside of Denver, so both had to fly in. They're tied atop the Western Conference, so the motivation's there. Minnesota's one of the best road teams in the NBA this season. Number two in defensive efficiency on the road. Number three in net rating on the road. 26 road wins. That's number two to the Boston Celtics. 22 and 18 against the spread on the road. Jamal Murray just played last night in Utah. We're not sure if he's going to play tonight. If he's ruled out, this line's going to move. I want to jump on Minnesota here. Denver should be favored, but I think it's a very competitive game. I like the Timberwolves. I'm going to flow with Joe on this because both teams played outside of Denver last night having to fly in, and Denver is not the same team without Jamal Murphy than they are with him and Jokic together. If there was a game that they could be had, I think this is the kind of game they could be had. Minnesota, I'm going to roll with them. I think that's a good pick, too. But Murray played last night. Why would they play him last night in Utah if he doesn't want to play tonight? Well, I'm just saying the back-to-back. The back-to-back to protect him.